You are listening to Studio MacGyver's Dragon Ball and Video Game Podcast. going down it is your boy studio macgyver and you are listening to studio macgyver's dragon ball and video game podcast i am back we're going to discuss a lot of things today uh let's get right to it shall we with the uh, episode 104 of dragon ball super and this one was an interesting one guys uh, we had uh basically hit going up against uh dispo one of the guys from Topo and um, from Topo's clique and, of course, Jiren being uh, the leader, if you will, of the group. Um, I really don't know which one is the group. Sometimes I feel like Topo is and sometimes I feel like Jiren is. But maybe Topo is the leader, but Jiren is the strongest. But I don't know. I, I, they could both be. Who knows? But they're the top two uh, in the group. But anyway, uh, Dispo is the guy that looks pretty much identical to um beerus i mean he looks like he could be a brother or cousin or something to beerus he's got those long ears um and he's very very fast he actually started to uh he started to fuck he started to fuck up hit pretty early in the fight um if you uh pardon my french but yeah he had he had um hit on a ropes for a minute um his ability is kind of interesting he has ability to hear a uh, person's body and then he can react to it at super human speeds and it took uh it took hit a minute to figure it out but he eventually um figured it out and basically had dispo playing a guessing game at the end and basically you know he he got flustered and he lost his composure and that's how he was uh he was beat but technically he's still in the match he did not get eliminated but there's another guy in their clique that did get eliminated i don't know his name i forgot his name but he's he's kind of like a known um he's kind of like a low tier guy um nobody of importance really um cuz he's not even there anymore so i don't know that's just uh that's just my take on it but pretty much this is what the episode was about um hit versus this guy dispo goku comes in uh towards the end of the match and uh to help out hit which hit basically explains to goku that he was not asking for his help goku told him i'm not i wasn't trying to help you i'm just uh i just want to fight and so basically they uh they worked together at the end and got rid of one of the guys um Disbo which is a guy who looks like Beerus he ended up getting beat up pretty bad and he's pretty much worthless right now um so all he needs to do is just get eliminated real quick I'll see what happens next on that don't really know but um he's probably at the end of his line and then um you had Topo and Jiren basically talking about they are well really this is coming from Topo Jaren is pretty much quiet the whole time, but Topo states that um, it's not even about being about justice anymore. It's just about, you know, their universe living and surviving and they are going to do whatever they need to to make that happen. So now I guess uh, Topo has decided to throw off the gloves and it's like basically no hoes barred. So I guess he, he's in that mindset. He's in that zone. And uh yeah, man, it's heating up really, really quickly. Still, they got 35 minutes before the match is over. And in Dragon Ball time, that's like, <laughs> that's very, very slow. So we still got plenty of time. And um, and they basically, Goku and Hit basically say, hey, we'll part ways right now. We're not going to fight now because, you know, you coming in helping me out. You know, like I'm going to go ahead and let you make it until later on. And we'll see who's left after that. So. Uh, that's pretty much been the episode. I mean, pretty good episode. Nothing just over the top or anything like that, but it was cool. Um, so they gave a preview, of course, which they do at the end of every episode to, you know, give you a glimpse of what's to come in the next, next one. 
And uh, it looks like uh, Master Roshi will be something it looks like is going to happen. Now, they're hinting at his death for some reason, uh, talking about his, Roshi's sacrifice and telling him not to die. And um, I don't know what's going to happen with that. I don't know where they're going with that. Um, I'm not going to read too much into it until I actually see it. But I think it's safe to say Master Roshi will probably be exiting the tournament here shortly. If not the next episode, the one after that. Um, I can almost put my money on that, but like I said, nothing is, nothing is a hundred percent until the end of the credits. Um, when you're talking about Toriyama and what he's uh, always doing, so he could hit us with a curveball. I don't know. My boy Tien is still in there. So I'm going to just keep it, keep it chill, keep it cool, calm and collected and hope he still maintains and we'll see how long we got, we got and how long we can make it in here. So, so far, so good for, um, universe seven and yeah, man, that's, that's the episode. And that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, it was just kind of like, it wasn't like, like I said, it wasn't the best and it, it wasn't the worst, but it was a decent showing and it showed that hit is vulnerable. He can be beaten. He can, you know, get in trouble. So, I mean, it's also a battle, battle of the minds, not just battle of, you know, the strength, you know, who's the strongest because that, is not always how you win fights. And matter of fact, uh, it's almost the other way. I mean, you, you usually outsmart somebody, you know what I mean? And that's how battles are won in the end. Um, strength is just one, uh, one attribute. So don't get hung up on who's the strongest, especially in this tournament, because as you can see, Master Roshi is still in the tournament. Tian Shinhan is still in the tournament. Uh, and some of these guys are still here. So, uh, Let's just not rule them out because they don't happen to be the strongest guys right now. Moving on. Uh, guys, I have to make a confession. I probably already made this confession, but uh, I think last week. Uh, but I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Uh, Naruto. First of all, I'm sorry. Let me backtrack real quick before we get to Naruto. Uh and I just want to, I forgot about this news. I don't know how I forgot because I'm covering it all the time. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about Dragon Ball Fighter Z real quick. And the new character reveals, I meant to get to that. Um, yeah, they revealed a shitload of new characters. Um, yeah, just out the blue on Twitter, man. I mean, um, we now have, uh, well, <laughs> we now have Android 16. Uh, and there's supposedly being going to be a story mode in this game. Uh, what if type of story mode in this game? Um, I, I, now, you know, they're saying that he 16 might not be playable or something like that. And just in a story mode. But come on, guys, let's let's keep it real with each other. If they're in the game nine times out of 10. No, I'm willing to say 10 times out of 10. They're going to be playable, whether it's DLC or not. You know what I mean? That seems to be the question. But um, yeah. And also you got um, and the androids, you got the androids in there uh, making an appearance. So you got Android 16. I'm sorry. Yes, you got Android 16. You got Android 17 and you got 18. So we got those guys in the game. OK, team Android, which is kind of cool because, I mean, three man squads, you got all three androids. That would be a dope team. I happen to be a big fan of Android 16. That is my favorite Android out of uh, out of the lot. And that's going that's including all the androids from the movies. That's including every android ever in Dragon Ball 16. As a matter of fact, I'm staring at my uh, my SH Figure Arts Android 16 right now. And he's looking down on me smiling and he's saying, thanks. I appreciate the shout out. And uh, you're welcome, 16. But anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, Dragon Ball Super. I'm sorry, Dragon Ball Fighter Z is the game that everybody, for the most part, is waiting for, especially the competitive fighters. Uh, guys like myself who enjoy Street Fighter and uh, some of these other games, Injustice 2, even though I suck at it. And uh, I also suck at uh, Xenoverse 2. But I love to play the game. It's still fun. And, you know, I'm a fan, so I'm going to play. But um, moving on to um, further um, discussion with this title, uh, there's only a few slots left in this game, guys. So what I'm trying to decipher is who are those remaining characters going to be? 
Now, you guys all know if you listen to my podcast before, you guys got to know. And for those who don't know, Tian Shinhan, that is my boy. That is one of my favorite characters. Uh, man, I, 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 he needs to be in this game. I mean, I had, you know, I got some little birdies, um, you know, who, who, who working for, uh, Bandai Namco. And I, I pretty much know that Tien is, is going to be in this game, but you know, I mean, I don't know why they're waiting on him for some reason. Maybe, maybe because the producer, uh, he's a favorite of, uh, the, one of the producers of the game. That could be a reason. I don't know. Maybe they're doing some extra for him. I kind of hope they do, man. Um, I don't know why they haven't put him out yet, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, as far as excluding him, I mean, who else do you guys think is going to make the cut? Um, if you look at everybody, if you look at everybody from, you know, Dragon Ball Z from the beginning all the way up until the end, um, I mean, you can still make argument for a few characters. Now, most of the ones that are left are going to be like movie based characters, if you will, because think about it, you got all the major villains, from the major arcs in Dragon Ball Z, uh, they already stated that they weren't putting anybody in from Dragon Ball and it's just going to be, you know, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So I'm assuming that most of the fighters are going to be from the Z saga, which is, in my opinion, the best saga of everything. So um, you got Frieza in there already. You got Vegeta in there already. You got Majin Buu and you got Cell. So those guys were the cornerstone villains of the arcs in the series. So and everybody in between, who else are you going to be pretty much adding? You're going to pretty much have if you have all the Z fighters, because pretty much all the Z fighters had different styles. I mean, everybody had it kind of their style was different. Krillin's style was different. I mean, um, you know, a 10 style is different. You got Goku, who is the hero, of course. Um, Kid Gohan and you got Trunks. I mean, so in Piccolo, I mean, so that. And then you got all the major villains. So now it's like, OK, who and now the androids. So it's like, OK, who? uh what other arc um, is there can, that you can add? I mean, they could do something with Super. Um, also, <laughs> I can't neglect the fact that there are going to, they, they did also state that Super Saiyan uh, God versions of Vegeta and Goku will be present in this game as well. Now, I don't know if that's going to be skins or what, because looking at the pictures on my, um, on Twitter, and you can also check some of those out on, um, on the podcast um, page on Facebook. Um, you can, you see that Vegeta's wearing his, his, his same Saiyan armor and he's just Super Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan God. But I kind of like the fact that they kept that, his original Saiyan armor on him and they eventually, eventually had that, um, go back to his original outfit because as you recall, you know, he had a different outfit or different armor in the beginning of, uh, Super. I just didn't like the look of it. I didn't like the style too much of it. I just wanted them to keep that original. Um, but for uh, Goku, yeah, I'm wondering how they're going to do that. Um, are they just going to change the hair color? Are they just going to, are they, will there be new moves incorporated? You would think that there would be, but we still have a lot of questions in the air, guys. I don't know, but I'm very excited for this title. Cannot wait. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. And the demo, uh, um, well, the closed beta is coming up very soon. Um, the sign up is on the 22nd of August. If you guys had forgot or if you don't remember. So just be looking out for that. And that's only a few days away. So I'm anxious. And uh, that's my that's that's pretty much my two cents on Dragon Ball Fighter Z right now. I mean, kind of wrapping it up kind of quick, but that that's about it. Um like I said, it's a great time to be an anime fan, great time to be a Dragon Ball fan, of course. And now I'm moving on and now I'm going to get to uh, Naruto now. Finally, uh, I'm going to get to that. And the last time I spoke to you guys, if I can recall, um, I think I had just finished um, just finished the episodes on Netflix, which were about 150 something episodes. I want to say like 157, 156. Somewhere around there. Um, of Naruto and in my mind I figured Naruto was over I thought it was done um, that arc but no it was not so now I went to, I went on a crunchy roll and there were still two more seasons so let me tell you what I've been doing this past week guys this past week I've been watching a shit load of Naruto okay um, nothing but Naruto if I'm not watching TV if I'm watching TV then I'm watching Naruto I mean bottom line I've watched 
where am I at now? I I'm finally I finally got to Chipotin and I am just over the 100 episode mark in Chipotin. So if you do the math, uh, the last time I my last week's podcast, I was around 157 episodes in and add what? Add another 170 episodes to that. And then, yeah, you got about 300 plus episodes almost. Yeah. All together. So 220 for Naruto um, before that um, saga, that arc is complete. And then you go to Shippuden, which is 500. So um, 100 plus 220 is 320. So I'm over 320 episodes in now. And one week I've I've covered 170 episodes. So that tells you what how many episodes I've been watching, because if you just watch like five episodes a day, that's like what? Um, how much is five? I'm, I'm bad at math. It, it's 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 like five episodes is like an hour and 40 minutes on average, about an hour and 40 minutes um, for five episodes. So I'll just say an hour and 45 minutes. OK. Um, and I at least watched that every day, but I've been watching way more. <laughs> and it's addicting. I can't stop watching. It's very, very good. I'm a super new. I'm a Naruto fan now, man. I'm officially in. I mean, I think I can call myself that now faithfully after 300 episodes. You know what I'm saying? Some some anime don't last half that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, and what's so crazy is I haven't even scratched the surface of the of the of the show yet. I'm like, I'm still, you know, early on in, but I feel like I've watched so many episodes which i have but it's just great man i can't stop watching it um uh, i'm really enjoying myself man i mean these guys who are dying they're this very sad there's moments that are very sad and real when you live that ninja lifestyle when you live that ninja lifestyle it gets real out there in the field in the battlefield man and uh ninjas die you know what i mean and Ninjas grow up, they learn new things and they become men and women and they kind of do their thing. And it, I mean, it's it's so good, man. Uh, Kakashi is my ninja. That is my boy. Um, and they're introducing, always introducing new characters. There's Sai now I was introduced to. Um, I mean, man, it's crazy right now. Um, there was Sora. All these different characters made with different backgrounds. They all have a story. They all have a background. And most of them are sad stories man most of them are realistic stories you know we don't live in the land of lollipops and ice cream cones in in this world in naruto i mean you know what i mean like that's part of the, the appeal to me that's part of the reason why i love it so much because it's you know it's a it can be a dark place but you know every corner you know what i'm saying there there are flowers so i mean you know it, it's it's very real, in my opinion, for anime, and I'm just I'm thoroughly enjoying it right now, and I cannot wait to finish it. I am now officially a Naruto ologist in the making, so I, I you know, I'm going to dedicate the same love and affection that I had for Dragon Ball, and I'm going to do the same thing for Naruto. I mean, I I can't deny it now. I mean, whenever you spend that many hours watching a show in that short span of a time, then I mean, evidently it has you by Something has you by the balls. It has you by the heart. Something. Um, and it's got me. So I'm already looking forward to the games. Like I said, I stated before, um, I think last week I was talking about trying to get into some of the Naruto uh, games that are out there. And, you know, there's I mean, I think I just started Naruto at the right time. I mean, I, it was I couldn't have started watching at a better time. I mean, Naruto Shippuden is finally done. Um, so it's over. So the, the main Naruto story is over now. And um, I get to watch that and it's I get to watch it all. I don't have to wait on episodes or anything like that. It's done. I can watch it and enjoy every last episode. I can um, now I can get into the games, which there is. Uh, I think it's Ninja Storm Legacy that's coming out on the 25th. So that's going to be all the Ninja Storm games uh, and the DLC and everything included on that. So I think I'm going to make that purchase No. I don't think I am. I am. I know I'm going to make that purchase because <laughs> now I want to start getting into some of these Naruto games. And um, like I said, man, guys, I just I had to lay that out to you guys and let you know what I was doing. Um, like I said, I was pretty much eating, sleeping, boo-booing and watching Naruto. 
that's pretty much what I what I've been doing. I've been working on some other things, you know, but for the most part, that's that's been my life for the past week. And it's going to continue to be my life until I finish Naruto. So uh, just letting you guys know that I'm in a hurry to finish this because I just I just want to finish it. I want to get to the bottom. I want to find out, you know, all the ins and outs. And then I want to get on some of these games, too. And then, you know, it's going to what's going to probably end up happening is I'm going to finish Naruto and then I'm going to start it again. Um, that's probably what's going to happen. Um, yeah, I'm going to let it marinate for a little bit and I'm going to start it again. But um, that being said, guys, that's pretty much going to going to wrap me up. Um, I just wanted to come on here, let you guys know what I was doing. Um, I also want to let you guys know real quick that I do have a store that I'm working on um, where basically I'm designing shirts. I have a um, T-shirt store coming. Well, it's already here, but it's only it's got like about 30 some odd designs right now. But I'm always adding new designs every week. And the designs that I specialize in are anime and video games. So anything surrounding anime or video games or anything in between is pretty much what, you know, my designs kind of specialize in. Um you guys can uh, check out <clears throat> check out my um, my Instagram page, and there will be a link to the uh, to the store. You guys can check them out. Um, there's always sales going on. Um, if you catch it at the right time, you can get them for fourteen dollars. Um, regular price is twenty, so I mean you're not going to take an L any way you look at it for the most part. And every week there's new designs. I'm my goal is to reach a thousand designs uh, as fast as I can. Um, so I'm working on that, but I've got right now stuff on there from Dragon Ball. I've got stuff on there from Naruto. Um, I've got, what else do I have on there? What I got like super Luigi. Um, what else I got on there? Um, Sega, you know, all video game type stuff, man, and anime. So I'm always adding new stuff, but, um, you guys check it out. Um, if you can, um, yeah, my Instagram is studio MacGyver seven, nine. So if you guys can check me out, I'd appreciate that. I got some shirts on there. I got shirts of the day. You know, I'm just trying to get in there and uh, get my stuff out there, guys, and spread the love of anime and video games. That's that's my job. That's what I that's what I got to do. But if you have any comments, like I always say every week, uh, any concerns, any questions, uh, don't be afraid to hesitate. Don't hesitate. I'm sorry. And uh, hit me up on Twitter at Studio MacGyver. Um, you can also hit me on Instagram, which I just stated, uh, at Studio MacGyver79. You can also hit me um, on the Facebook page at uh, at Studio MacGyver. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. My mouth is a little dry. Um, I'm a little sleepy. Um, so please forgive me uh, for rambling um, some of the things that I'm talking about. But um, I'll be back next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Um, and with that being said, guys, you have been listening to Studio MacGyver's Dragon Ball and Video Game Podcast. See you next time.